kind of a lie to her parents a little bit. <laughs> but... Mom, Dad, you're watching this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We know it's been a long time since we posted a YouTube video, but um, we wanted to just get back on here. We've, we've gotten so much love from you guys and we're excited to get another video out. So we thought we'd get to know, have you guys get to know us a little bit more. And today we're gonna do a little couple stag and see who knows who better. <laughs> I like you guys. Also, sorry, we're in our bathroom. It just has the best lighting in here. So we thought it'd be a good idea to try to record in here. Yeah, we did. He says the best lighting and we're missing a light. Yeah, we're missing a light. Which... Oh, it fell out of the wall, but I'll show you guys. it's okay. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> question one. How old am I? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, where and when did you first meet? I think we first met in elementary school. Um, but we really like weren't friends until middle school and then we started talking and then really became like close friends in high school. We were kind of in like a little friend group in high school and we always hung out with each other and, yeah. that. and then just kind of started hanging out more and more and then just me and her and it just kind of became a thing over time. Yeah, <laughs> we were we were neighbors when we were younger. I mean, yeah, we, we lived on the same block our entire yeah. lives, but really kind of never like hung out with each other until we were like two different, different worlds you know yeah yeah where was our first date i have no idea so i think our first date was valentine's day we went to a sushi restaurant and it wasn't really the first date because he was like what are you doing for valentine's day didn't even call it valentine's day do you remember that you're like what are you what are you doing i think it was like on a friday so what are you doing Friday? And I was like, oh, I don't know yet. And he had to do some things like come with me and then we'll, we'll go get sushi at this place that I tried that I really like. And I was like, oh my God, it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so I like dressed up all nice and he dressed up too. I wonder if I saw the pictures. And then we went and it, it was a little bit awkward. I think because we both thought it was a date but neither of us wanted to say anything. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then it just went back to normal. Like it was like the weirdest first date because it was like, there was no second date after that. It was just like date, and then again, just hanging out with our friends every day, like never even talked about it. Nothing happened. Like we didn't kiss or anything, only hands. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you, right? Yeah, yeah. It was it was just a nice dinner, and um, like I clearly liked her, but I think that we were just kind of like, hey, we both are not dating anybody. It's Valentine's Day. Let's not <laughs> stay at home by ourselves. And yeah. <laughs> I thought we can go to a nice dinner in the city, and yeah, it, it ended up being a lot of fun. And I think us like closer together oh for sure i think it's super super weird to think about it what was your f <laughs> what was your first impression of me my first impression <laughs> of Menaces was um that she was a little bit of a brown nose yeah. oh, don't a, little say that. Don't <laughs> a little bit too nice and i mean i i feel like you guys can see that in like her videos that she genuinely is a nice person but in, in middle school, she was just like way too nice to all the teachers and like always like offering the help. And it just, for whatever reason, I don't know why, like it just, it, was, it, it, it annoyed me so much. <laughs> he was so low with me. He was like, gosh, the perfect specimen. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I hated him. I detested him. First impression of him, I was like, oh my God, he's such a, I took that as a compliment that I was really nice, so. <laughs> When did you meet my family? When did you meet my family or when did I meet your family? The questions are for both of us. Okay, when did I meet your family? It's so hard to say because we were friends for so long that like... I think the first time I met your family was like maybe at like just like a little barbecue mm -hmm. you had at your house and I just came by and like we were just friends though, so it didn't really matter. So it was just like, oh, hey guys, what's oh, was up? It, was it my quinceanera maybe? The one that maybe. Had, I, had a, I had a 15th birthday, a quinceanera, and I have two because my parents love me. And I, my, I love this story. My fish had died on my actual birthday. And then this is when Brian and I like, actually started becoming like just friends, no feelings or anything. And I came to school sobbing. And he was like, why are you crying? And I was like, my fish died. And I think you had won me that fish at Northlake Days. Yeah, but we had like a local carnival and it was like the one where you throw like the ping pong ball into 
the yeah. fish bowls or whatever. Yeah. And one and, and a goldfish. And they're supposed to die like in a week, and my fish lasted me for months. Do you remember? Like mm -hmm. three or four months. Died on my birthday, and um, your best friend made fun of me for crying over a fish. And then that weekend was the party, and then when Birdie got there, I was like, oh my god, come outside. And he bought me the prettiest fish. It was white and uh, orange dots. It was, mm -hmm. oh my god. I named him like Tim or something. <laughs> but I think that's the first time my parents met him. Yeah. Who said I love you first? I think I might have. I, I think you did too. Yeah. Like, like a serious I love you, it was definitely him. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember when though, the first time that was, but it was like definitely sometime senior year, maybe? Oh, Junior really? Year. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No. I don't know. That'd be your mind. Weird habit. What's my weird habit? What's my weird habit? Oh my god. Brady has the weirdest habit of having things in his hand and like if he goes and sits down or lays down, he'll throw them. Like he'll just toss them to the side, toss them to the end of the bed. And I'm like, where is, it actually just happened right now before we started recording. I was like, hey, can you bring him a piece of gum for me? And he came up with it, it was in his hands, and then he sat down and it's gone. Like he threw it for sure. He does it with the remotes every single night. It's just, you're weird, it is a habit. It's like the weirdest thing. Yeah. Um, Menusi's weird habit is probably the stairs is like the weirdest <laughs> habit. But she has this like irrational fear that someone is chasing her up the stairs trying to murder her. So she <laughs> She's like, <"Is> it <laughs> She doesn't let anybody walk behind her <laughs> up the stairs. So it's just kind of like weird and sometimes annoying like when you have to go upstairs or something and she's like you go first or she makes you wait until she gets all the way to the top of the stairs and you have to fall. It's it's ridiculous. It's so but. irrational, like when he says it out loud, but yeah. it is. Our first road trip. trip. Our first road trip was to Michigan. Yes! Oh my god, I did not think yeah. you were gonna yeah, yeah yeah. When we were like fifteen or sixteen, I had 16. to go on a trip to like coach a hockey camp or something like that mm -hmm. in Michigan and um, I was just at the time like we weren't like talking or anything no. seriously, but I just wanted someone to come on the road trip with me and Menace is like a good friend of mine so yeah. I was like do you want to come along for a little trip and kind of had to lie to her parents a little bit <laughs> but mom dad you're watching this <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're like yeah his parents are here his mom's in the shower mom she can't talk I remember that do you remember yeah, that yeah yeah but we like there was separate beds for us and everything yeah I think that like also took our friendship and like uh do we have feelings for each other to a different level too yeah I was like oh you hot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? How do I drink my coffee? She does. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you I do sugar drink coffee. <laughs> With a tablespoon of coffee. It drives him insane. Because it's he likes disgusting. he likes his coffee so he wants it to like burn his throat coming down. That's how sour he wants it. No, I just like a good nitro cold crew cold from almond Starbucks. Yep. Maybe some almond foam. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, how long do I need in the morning to get ready? That is a very interesting question. And but what like, are we getting ready for? Like, I mean, a day where you'd be getting ready. Like, like we're gonna go out and like, do not something. Not just like brushing your teeth in the morning to like run out the door to do something, but like actually getting ready. A long time. Hours. Two maybe. Two hours. Two hours. But if I'm getting up in the morning. Now, me? I can shower. Maybe. What are we talking about? 15 minutes. Like, if you're going to shower long. and if you're going to. Do my hair? Like, that, that takes like seven minutes. But sometimes you line yourself up. Half the body, half the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. He's so fast. He's so freaking fast. <laughs> What's my favorite song right now? <clears throat> oh, I have one. Come alive. Oh my god, it is! Song. It is! Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. What song do I have? Oh to my do? god! What's it called? I don't know, you know that I don't know the name of the song. You'll be back. You'll be You'll back. <laughs> By the King in Hamilton is one of the greatest songs. I'm not kidding. It's I'm... informative. 
and it just sounds great. He'll listen to it like five times. I think his name is Jeremy Groff who does it and he is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Who's your favorite YouTube? Bailey Sarian is definitely Menace's favorite YouTuber. She loves murder, mystery, and makeup Monday. So yes. And last question. What animal would I be? I'm gonna say dog. Yes. I love dogs so much, but if if Menaces could be an animal, I don't think it would be a dog. You don't think so? Dogs are usually like pretty fearless and like. But I, I want to be a dog you'd, so. You'd be bad. like a what's a what's a scary little animal? Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm fearless, and I would be a dog. She would be like a chihuahua or something. No, I yeah, <laughs> those are like the crackheads of the dog world. <laughs> like, no. Brody would be. What's the most adventurous animal? I would be a dog, but just with a little wheelchair on the back of his leg. Oh so my god, wouldn't that be so cute? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for coming to our video. We're so excited to have new faces and we love all the questions that you guys ask us. All your kindness does not go unnoticed. We are literally just in awe of everyone and everything. Yeah, we're excited to do some more of these videos. If you guys have like any ideas, leave them down in the comments yeah. and we'll, uh, we'll take some of them, try to get some of them done. But yeah, we're, we're really excited to keep this going. Yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe and stick around for more. See Bye, ya. guys.